Hi, my name is Tim Wenslow. I'm on the product management team here at Obsidian Security. I'm here today to talk to you about the techniques of SaaS compromise. These are techniques we observe in our customer environments, and hopefully, with an understanding of these techniques, you can avoid being exploited. What I have in front of you here is a simple user-based authentication flow into an identity provider that gives you access into a collection of connected SaaS applications. As an attacker, I'm going to use this access of the user to gain initial access into identity providers. Without multi-factor authentication, an attacker may be successful in gaining access to this IDP using a credential-based attack, brute force, password stuffing, um, password guessing, etc. However, multi-factor authentication is vulnerable depending upon the method of MFA. If it's a SMS-based method, attackers can SIM swap. If it's a push-based method, attackers can use MFA push spam. If it's a one-time password, attackers commonly might fish the user, send them to a man-in-the-middle server, capture the credentials, as well as the tokens, and reuse those to gain access to the identity provider. And in some cases, attackers may compromise the device itself to maintain access into the IDP. Once the attackers are at the IDP, how do they maintain persistence? How do they stay there? Well, attackers are commonly adding their own MFA devices so they, that they don't have to go through this flow once again. Some attackers may even create their own user accounts uh, with their own MFA devices, creating a new user and then thus going through the flow to get to this IDP step. Once attackers access SaaS environments, the opportunities are endless. Workday, Google, Microsoft, all these platforms expose different objectives and different techniques. Invoice fraud, data exfiltration, source code exfiltration, secret scanning, etc. Lastly, one of the common techniques we see attackers using, maybe more sophisticated ones, is that of an integration. All of these SaaS applications each have hundreds of integrations interconnected. If an attacker is able to add an integration to either maintain persistence or compromise an existing integration, they're able to access the SaaS applications without having to go through this user-based flow once again. Hopefully with an understanding of these techniques, you're better prepared to detect this within your own environment. Here at Obsidian, we're observing these techniques. We're building detections to identify each one of these stages from the initial access, persistence, post-authentication techniques within the SaaS applications, as well as the integrations. We're also improving these detections by observing them constantly within our customer environments, updating them, and then publishing those to our customers for them to use immediately. So for more information, come check out obsidiansecurity.com slash lightboards.